Hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at the Pro Damping Kit and typical LiDAR kit installation on the IF800. So what we have here in front of us is the, the parts for the mid-weight Pro Damping Kit and a, uh, a typical LiDAR kit, which includes GNSS, uh, physical mounting to the smart dovetail, power from the smart dovetail, and uh, a GNSS cable that goes between the drone and LiDAR. So if we had to separate what is included in the Pro Damping Kit and the LiDAR Kit, the line would be here. So this is what you would see if you just bought the Pro Damping Kit. But let's start by installing the Pro Damping Kit on the IF800. So we'll flip the IF800 over. Now that we flipped the IF800 over, you'll see that there is the stock damping plate that comes with the, the drone. And we will need to remove this to install the, the Pro Damping Kit. So included in the kit, we have a two and a half millimeter hex driver and a 5.5 millimeter nut driver. And we'll need both of these both. So we'll start with the two and a half millimeter hex driver. And you'll notice that on the damping plate, there are four screw locations and through holes to get to those screws uh, on each of the corners of the damping plate. And what you'll start by doing is sticking the driver through the damping plate in each of those locations and removing those screws. It'll be a little bit difficult because there is Loctite installed in them. You don't necessarily need to remove the screws all the way because they won't come through the hole that the screwdriver is going through. So I'll just loosen them until they free spin and I'll do it on all four corners. Once those four screws are removed, what I'm gonna do is lift that damping plate and tilt it to the side and just put my fingers in here and grab each of those four screws and make sure they're all removed. And I'll set them to the side. We won't need those screws. Now that we've removed the four screws from the stock damping plate, what we're going to want to do, it's a little bit tricky, but you'll wanna use the two and a half millimeter hex driver and the five and a half millimeter nut driver. And using both at the same time, we're going to remove the four screws that are holding the smart dovetail cage to the stock damping plate. So we'll start by inserting the drivers on either end of one of the screws and turning the nut driver will remove the nut from the screw. I'll set both of those aside and I'll repeat for all four corners. With the four screws removed, the damping plate will come right off. We'll set that aside, as with the Pro Damping Kit, uh, it will no longer be needed. Now that we've removed the stock damping plate, we will need to install the pieces necessary for the Pro Damping Kit system. So, uh, that consists of three pieces, two IF800 rails, and a third, which is hidden, but with this thumb screw removed on the bottom of the damping plate. If you press this button on the side, the third piece slides out from there. And these are the three pieces that need to be installed on the vehicle. So we'll start with the two rails. You'll notice on the rail, there are markings on the side and they have little dots, uh, one, two, three, and four. And those indicate the positions that the damping plate can slide back and forth depending on the weight of your payload. So we want to install these, they are symmetrical, but we want to install them with dot one facing the front of the vehicle. So we'll position the two rails as such and using the included M3 by 10 black oxide screws and the Loctite, we will install these rails. So we'll start with the first screw and the two and a half millimeter hex driver We'll put it on the end. I like to hold it with one finger and we'll put a dab of Loctite on this screw. 
we'll come over to the vehicle and I'll lift the rail for the first screw just to make sure everything is in position. We'll find the back heat insert on the vehicle and lightly screw it into place. I don't like to fully tighten each screw until multiple screws are in place. So we'll loosely tighten the first and move on and repeat the lock type and screw in process with, with each of the screws. Once each of the four screws have been loosely put in, I'll go ahead and tighten down all four. Because the screws have Loctite, we only need to tighten them until they're snug. Now repeat for the other side. Now that the two rails have been installed, the next step is to install the lower half of the quick disconnect. This piece sits directly on the back of the dovetail cage. And you'll notice there is a, a divot in the part right here with a little circular cutout. And that is where this safety release of the dovetail cage sits. So it fits together just like this. And once flipped over, we'll use the M3 by six screws and Loctite to fasten these two pieces together. Again, I tightened all of these screws loosely at first, and now I'll snug them all up. Now that those three pieces have been installed, that's the last time you'll ever have to uh, touch a screw when it comes to removing a, a payload or a damping plate. So everything is now toolless and quickly swappable. So to install the Midweight Pro damping plate, all we need to do now is move the dovetail cage out of the way. When installing a pro damping plate, you'll want to make sure that the arrow and thumb screw are pointing towards the front of the vehicle. The two clamps on either side of the damping plate are loosened. And with those two things, we can slide the damping plate directly onto the rails. Once you slide the damping plate onto the rails, simply clamp it down using the two clamps on either side. Now that the damping plate is on the rails, take your dovetail cage and click it into position on the quick disconnect. Lastly, we'll take the thumb screw in front and tighten it down to secure the dovetail cage. Now that the pro damping kit has been installed, I'm going to flip the vehicle back over. Next, I'm going to show a typical installation of one of our common LiDAR kits. This is what most of our LiDAR kits consist of, but some do vary based on the model. Uh, what we have here is the, a GNSS mount for the top of the IF-800. We have a dovetail to Skyport adapter. We also have a dovetail to XT60 power cable as well as a GNSS cable that goes between the IF-800 and the LiDAR. In this demonstration, we have the Inertia Labs Recipe LiDAR, which we can use to show the installation. For this LiDAR kit installation, we'll start with the Skyport to dovetail adapter. So what we can do here is line up the red dot with the pin on this adapter and pivot the adapter about 45 degrees. You'll feel it click into place and you won't be able to remove it unless this pin is pulled and it's rotated again. Next, we'll take the, the power cable and the ZPD connector on top, this white locking connector, will plug into the Skyport adapter here. So the with the locking mechanism on the bottom, the power cable clicks right into place. And the other end of the connector, the XT60, will connect right into the LiDAR. Lastly, we have the GNSS cable, which will thread this 90 degree adapter directly onto the SMA connector of the LiDAR. 
Now we can install this LiDAR onto the drone. To install the LiDAR on the vehicle, we'll loosen the clamp of the dovetail and click the LiDAR into place. Then clamp it down with the red clamp on the side. On the underside of the IF800 is where the other side of this SMA cable connects. On the other side of the vehicle, underneath, there is an SMA cap, which provides an SMA pass through from the top to the bottom of the vehicle. So we'll take off that cap, and on the other end of this SMA cable, we will thread onto that connector. The last step is installing the GNSS mount. It has a retained thumb screw and an MCX snap on connector. So to mount this to the top of the IF800, you'll see the two teeth on the bottom of the mount. Those notch in to the top of the IF800 and you'll push the mount into place. Then using the thumb screw in the back, you'll screw it down until it's secure. Last but not least, the MCX connector. There's a, just immediately behind this navigation light, there is the female version of that connector. And all you need to do is push the two together and you'll hear it snap. So that was the entire installation process of the Pro Damping Kit and a typical LiDAR kit on the IF800. Uh, the Pro Damping Kit installation, you will only have to do once and the rest will be uh, every time you mount the LiDAR. I hope this was helpful and there is documentation for this process uh, in the description. Thank you so much for watching.